Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex and today I'm going to show you how to update your old MacBook. So I have a MacBook Air 13 inch early 2015 and I'm running macOS High Sierra. So when I click here on software update, looks like I have an update. This is only an iTunes security update. update. This is not a macOS update. So, you know, I'm happy thinking that I have the latest macOS compatible with my computer and I'm just using my computer. And even if I go here to the App Store, this is the newest macOS operating system macOS Sonoma. If I try to download it, it says we cannot complete your purchase. This version of macOS cannot be installed on this computer. Before Sonoma, we have Ventura. So let's see what happens if we want to install macOS Ventura. macOS Ventura, download. We cannot complete the purchase. This version of macOS 13.6 cannot be installed on this computer. All right, so I cannot install Ventura. Before Ventura, we have Monterey. Monterey has no results. How about macOS Big Sur? Nothing. So what I'm trying to show you guys is that on the App Store, when I search for all macOS, they're not going to show up. It's only going to show up the newest one, Sonoma, and the previous one, which is Ventura. So how can I know if I can install a newer macOS on this computer? It's really easy. You're going to open Safari. If you have a really old computer, probably Safari is not going to work. So I recommend you to install Chrome. And we're going to do a simple search, macOS compatibility. The first result is Mac Sales. Click here and I will put a link on the description so you can go to this page direct. Here it says Mac OS compatibility guide. So here you're going to look for your computer. In my case, I have a MacBook Air, right? So click on MacBook Air. Once you're here, you need to look for your model. So what's your model? Your model is going to be Mac Air 13 inch early 2015. I found my computer. If you want to double check, you see this Mac Air 7.2. That's the model identifier. How can you find that? You go to the Apple about this Mac and then you're going to click system report. And here you can see the model identifier right here. So it's the same one, MacBook Air 7.2. So that's a confirmation that this is my computer. On some MacBook Air laptops, you will not see the 13 inch early 2015. You will just see MacBook Air. In that case, you're gonna copy the serial number and you're gonna type here on your favorite browser, you're gonna type Apple warranty. Click on the first link. On this page, you're gonna paste the serial number and we're gonna type here the submit. On checkcoverage.apple.com, you're gonna see exactly what kind of model do you have. 13 inch early 2015. Now we are here on High Sierra and to my surprise guys, I find out that I can jump to Mojave, to Catalina, to Big Sur and even to Monterey. So I'm talking about one, two, three, four operating systems up and Apple never told me about it. How can when I visit the App Store, Apple doesn't show me the same way that they show that we can install macOS Sonoma. It should be here, macOS Monterey, because I can download that macOS. And even if I search here and I think I cannot be more straight than that, you know, I'm typing the name of the macOS. There's nothing. Now that we know that we can install Monterey, which is going to do another search, download macOS Monterey. As simple as that. The first result is going to be Apple and usually this result is going to trigger the Apple Store to pop up. Why do I have to search on Google to find this page? Why you didn't show me this page when I was looking on the App Store for macOS Monterey? That's the question I have for Apple. All right, so I'm going to click download and here is going to take around two and a half hours, you know, and this is depending on your internet connection. We're just going to leave it here downloading. Now, there are ways to install Ventura and Sonoma on all computers, and that's another topic. If you're interested, it's called Open Core Legacy Patcher. This open core legacy patcher will allow you to install the newest operating systems on your old Mac, but to be honest, I don't recommend it. I see that it's going to take four hours and 47 minutes. This is going to take 12.13 gigabytes. A lot of people asking me what happened with my files. So Apple says that it's not going to delete any files to be safe. I'm going to do a backup of this computer before installing macOS Monterey. All right. So please do a backup. And actually you should have a backup of the backup. And some people have a backup of the backup of the backup. All right. So that's, you know, crazy people but all right guys so now we move to two hours and 50 minutes i'll be back when the file is downloaded and finally we are done downloading macOS monterey let me do something let me see if i go to finder and applications let's see if we can find monterey yeah right here look so let me just copy this and put it in my downloads just in case I need the file. This is going to be, look at this, 12.45 gigabytes. So now I'm just going to click continue. Agree. I'm going to select my Macintosh. Computer is not connected to a power source. Let me fix that. I'm going to put my password and it says it's going to take 18 minutes to install. Let's see what happened. Less than a minute remaining. That's what Apple says, but this minute is the longest ever. It could be 10 minutes, no problem. So this whole process is going to take a long time, guys. You need to be patient. 
you're going to see a lot of rebooting, a lot of loading, a lot of waiting. And we just have this message saying about 10 minutes remaining. Okay, guys, so finally it finished. Let's configure the laptop pretty quick. Analytics, continue, continue, not now, continue. That look is fine. App Store, I mean. Our MacBook Air is now, you see here MacBook Air, it doesn't say early 2015 anymore, you see? That's why sometimes it's good to copy the serial number, go to Apple Warranty, and find out what kind of model you have, you know? MacBook Air 13 inch early 2015. All right, guys, so this is it. If we go to um, about this Mac software update, there's a new version of Monterey and also Safari. So I can do an update now. And that's it, guys. This concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll see you on my next video.